Hi guys, Stuart Fraser here, PGA professional from Snainton Golf. Today Ping have sent us some new toys to play with and we've got the G425 family of drivers to review. The G410 certainly had glowing reviews last year, so it'll be really interesting to see how the 425 compares. Before we delve into too many technical features about the golf club, I just want to go into the aesthetics. Now, Ping have opted again for a premium black. It's a really high quality finish. The tabulators once again have made an appearance. Now, love them or hate them, they're here to stay. They're supposed to make the club travel faster through the air. In the three different models that they've provided us with, they've got the three stock shafts. So we've got the Max with the tensile orange shaft in. Very good, tried that on previous drivers that we've reviewed. We've got the Alter CB, which is Ping's own shaft. We have that in the SFT. And then we have the old dealer Rogue in the LST. Supposed to be very low spinning, a little bit heavier. Again, as reviewed particularly well with previous drivers that I've tried. There is a marginal difference in head shape between the LST, the SFT and the Max. So the Max is definitely a deeper head. It goes further back. The weight's lower down and further back to make the ball launch higher. And the LST, to make the ball launch a little bit lower with lower spin, it's not as deep ahead. And a very different aesthetic, completely different look to the golf club. It's a lot more pear-shaped, so it's a more traditional look driver as opposed to the, the Max and the SFT. So of course, Ping do claim this is going to be the, the best, most successful driver to date. So they've combined technologies from their previous drivers, the G400, the G410, and they've added a few new elements as well. The 26 gram movable tungsten weight in the back of the Max and the LST helps you dial in your accuracy and also moves the centre of gravity around so you can get that behind the impact area more easily. Also the Dragonfly crown makes it a lot lighter, thinner on the top, which gives you weight savings and again you can move that centre of gravity around. But also the T9S face is supposed to be a serious advancement. It's variable face thickness technology helps the ball spring off the face a little bit faster and makes it a lot stronger as well for higher ball speeds. The biggest claim that Ping have made with this new driver is that it's a 14% increase in MOI across the face. So that should make it a great deal more forgiving than any driver they've produced previously. Anyway, let's put this thing through its paces. The first drive I'm going to hit a few shots with is the 425 Max. It's a 9 degree, 10 size stiff shaft. Let's give this thing a whirl. That feels amazing off the face. So it's launched really high, very solid feel. Actually struck it a little bit at the heel of the golf club, but that wasn't obvious from the, the feedback I got from the, from the golf club. It flew extremely straight. Let's have some more shots with this. This is going to be a lot of fun. That feels just as solid as the first one. A little bit out of the toe of the golf club that time, so my swing's not producing a consistent strike right at this moment, but both of those shots flew really similar and they felt fantastic. Yeah, all three of those balls have flown within a few yards of each other. You could literally throw a blanket over them. That one is, is a lot more central to strike. Again, it felt fantastic. There's very little deviation on the ball flight. We've got a little bit of wind into and off the right today, but there's really not a great deal of difference between those two shots. More than happy with the performance. Feels great. The sound is a little bit hollow, so it's maybe a little bit louder than I might like personally. Um, and a few of the other drivers that we've tried, it's very different from those. But it's not a really, it's not a really unpleasant noise. I don't mind it at all, really, to be honest. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit three more shots with this now. Get some more data so we can compare these models. Four two five LST. Right, this is the one I've been looking forward to the most. This is certainly the head shape I would prefer, and I would choose personally. It's supposed to bring that spin down, which again would be great for me to optimise my ball flight. It really does look lovely. Much lower ball flight. Be interesting to see the spin rates on that and the numbers. Certainly lower. 
it makes a different noise. It's not quite as hollow sounding as the Max. Maybe a little bit more solid, a little bit more damp and the noise than, than the other two drivers. Immediately obvious is the uh, the lower flight, but also the, the lack of side spin. So I'm really struggling to get this ball moving right to left, even with this right to left wind. It sits quite differently. So it seems to sit slightly more open than the Max driver at address. So I'm just going to continue having a few more shots with this. Another three to four shots, give this a good test and then we're going to move on to the SFT. So now we've got the SFT. Um, this is the one that's supposed to cure the slice. It's supposed to launch the ball high. They've moved all the way into the heel of the golf club to help you with those slightly off-centre hits towards the heel. Hopefully normalise that distance on the off-centre ones. Initially in behind the golf ball, this club definitely sits slightly turned in. So the toe of the golf club moved in towards the golf ball That'll help you release the club head. Less open club faces at impact, but let's see how it flies. Instantly, that ball's moving a long way right to left. Now my natural shape is, is the draw. That's just accentuating my draw and it's made it fly 20 to 30 yards left. Now I'm gonna have another few shots with this and see if it's consistent. But I'm thinking this probably isn't the club for me. However, if you do slice the ball, this thing is going to work miracles. Yeah, the amount of movement on this thing is considerable. I'm getting it shaping minimum 20 to 30 yards right to left. Yeah, I can't do anything but get this ball moving right to left, which for a lot of club golfers, to be fair, is going to be really encouraging. It's going to be confidence building. Also noticeable is the Ultra CB shaft feels a lot lighter than the other two shafts that I've used today. So that's going to help most players generate a little bit more club head speed, get a little bit more height, but might increase the spin just a tiny bit. But we're going to start with the G425 Max and we're going to delve back into the creative bag again. Let's see if we can hit a few different shots. Right. First of all, we've got big draw. Should be capable of that one. Yep, that's absolutely perfect. Next ball. Oh, big fade. Right, now we're going to try this one with a difference. I'm going to swap drivers over and we're going to go to the SFT. Now let's see if we can get this thing fading. Give me a good old test for the SFT, see if it can cure my fade. Let's open the body up and try and get a big slice going. That's as fadey a swing as I can possibly put on the golf ball and it's it started marginally left and just bombed absolutely straight. That does feel pretty difficult to slice to be honest. Let's just have another go and see if that's, that's the same with my next ball. It certainly feels as though that toe's releasing a little bit faster. Yeah, I really tried to get that one slicing. And same again, it's just, it's just flown absolutely dead straight. I would say this thing is going to be really, really difficult to slice. Even that shot there, out the heel of the golf club, really felt as though I put a big slice swing on it. It's just not moved an inch left to right. So one more from the creative bag. Low draw. Now for this one, we're going to give the LST a go. This should be able to launch the ball nice and low. Yeah, it's much lower ball flight than the others. You see how this is going to be really easy to keep down. Uh, an awful lot easier to, to keep it down out of the wind. Overall, the shot shaping ability of these golf clubs is really good. The SFT, really difficult to slice in it left to right due to the weighting of the head. But the LST and the Max, you can move that adjustable weight in the back of the head and you can really dial it in to get whatever trajectory you're going to be, you're going to be looking for. So let's have a closer look at the data that we've found from the shots that I hit, starting with the G425 Max. Just to work through a few numbers, the ball speed with this driver was five miles an hour higher than either of the other two. 
So definitely the longest driver on test. The overall height was 119 feet, probably a little bit higher than what I would expect with my own driver, but it spun slightly higher than I would expect as well with 3194 RPM. Also, this alongside the LST was the one with the tightest dispersion. If we move on to the LST, very low spinning. As Pin claimed, this is six or 700 revolutions lower than the other two. So this averaged 2598 spin rate for the shots that I hit, and an average height of 107 feet, which is around about eight to 10 feet lower than the other two. Moving on to the SFT, the one that's probably least suited to me with the weighting in the heel, this club on average went 17 yards further left than the other two. And the average spin weight was 3601. So slightly higher flying again, 115 feet, probably because of the higher spin rate. But again, this driver probably ideally suited to, to the slicer and the guy that wants to launch it a little bit higher. Overall, G425 Max, the longest out of the three. SFT, the one that's going to cure your slice. And the LST, much lower trajectory and much lower spinning. So to summarise with the G425 family of drivers, they've done a great job of providing a driver that will suit every golfer. We've got higher launching, lower spinning, slice curing drivers, something for everybody. I really like the aesthetics of the golf clubs. They use premium components. A lot of the new features that they've included in these drivers definitely give benefits to everyone. Overall, I feel as though these drivers are some of the most forgiving on the market and the dispersion figures that we've got from, from these three are the best I've tested so far of any driver previously. My personal favourite, maybe not the one that should suit me the most, but I like the noise, I love the feel, and the best performance that I got was with the G425 Max. But again, there's, there's a different driver to suit everybody. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video as much as I have making it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment in the box below which will be your favourite driver and which one you think is going to suit you the most. Keep an eye on our channel for more great reviews in the future. See you soon.